Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his lot. We got into a drifted bank and then we got upside. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. day or two ago, this story I must tell. I went out on the snow, and on my back I fell. A gent was riding by, in a one-horse open sleigh. He laughed as there I sprawling lie, but quickly drove away. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells.
peace on earth and with hope to all forever. This one day, Allah will rabe, wale, wale Allah will rabe, wale rasla masura ta wale nasha. By your mercy, that we may celebrate the holy mysteries in which you have been given for the renewal and the liberation of nature through the mercy of your beloved Son, Lord of all, now and forever. I will thank you in the great assembly. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us pray, peace be with us. O Lord, our God, when the pleasant fragments of your compassion embraces us, and our souls are enlightened by the knowledge of your truth, we become worthy to welcome the revelation of your beloved Son from heaven, where we will thank and praise you and seasonly in your grand church that is filled with all graces and blessings. O oh Lord, I pray the Lord of all the time.
Maria, the most one who delights to dwell in his name, we implore that you turn to us with your mercy, as you always do, Lord, the Holy Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. May the Lord bless you. Be sure of this, that no mortal or impure or greedy person, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them, for you were once darkness, but you are now light in but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces in every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn that what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless work of darkness, rather expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things that might them in secret. But everything exposed by light becomes vis visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awaken, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Amen. Yes, it could be no. Yes. How can you yes and 
how can we know? This sentence is not for real. But there was, there was a guy, a real guy, his name is? Saint Nicholas. And that was long, long, long time before Jesus Christ. Hundreds of years before Jesus Christ. What that guy did, that he became a saint, he did so many things, but usually we remember one most important thing. This guy was rich, and he thought, what I have to do with those money that I have? So he thought that the best thing is to make, to make gifts. At Christmas for who? For poor people. So he used to go around, all poor people bring them a gift or presents for the Christmas. So this is the way we used to, to do every Christmas time. To bring happiness, to bring some joy for those people that they are poor. And but this saint, he lived like for maybe a hundred years and he died, right? Because everyone died. But so many people, they want to imitate him, to keep doing this, like what he did. So they, they start by like wearing, say exactly he used to wear, and make themselves like Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas. So it is a real, but if right now, today, after the mass, if we have someone wearing the Santa, that is not real Santa, <laughs> right? It's someone, I don't know who it be, but it's someone of our parish, someone of our community, he is wearing this clothes of Santa to remember that guy so many years ago who used to help poor people. But we are not poor, why he gave us presents and why he gave us like Christmas did if we are not poor. It is to remind you we must do it for poor people to give something from what we have. I remember in one of my old parishes at parishes, a guy his name Yusuf. He was three years old when I met him first. So he used to collect money to save money through the year. He has saving box money and put like dollar dollar through the year and at the Christmas time he gave the offering and he saw how much money he has and gave those money to poor people. So he keep doing it now, he is maybe 16, 17 years old and he keep doing that. So this is the way why you do this to remember. Uh, also, we got to do something. Not only waiting for prices and presents, but we got to think to make all our all the gifts to those people who they don't have. So who helps Santa? Because one guy is not enough 
to feed all poor people, to give like gifts to all people. He needs help. So everyone is asking to help, is invited to help uh, Sam. So, so does Santa work for someone? No. Yeah. For Jesus. Santa is working for Jesus. Because he, Jesus asked us to help others. Jesus asked us to help poor people. Jesus asked us to love others. So he wants, he is making something for Jesus. He's not making something from himself. He's doing this for Jesus. So if he if Santa making this for Jesus, who is most important? Jesus. Jesus is most important from Santa. So that's what we have always to remember. That Jesus is number one. Then Santa comes number two. And who have asked him number three? No. So, and you number three, all of you, and I number four. Okay. So, Jesus is important. So, if Jesus is more, more important than Santa, what do we have to do with Jesus? What is our relationship with Jesus? What we have to do? To? So, here is Jesus. We got to listen to Jesus. If Jesus is the great, if Jesus is the, the most important, one in our life, we got to listen to him. So how? When when Jesus talk? When we can listen to Jesus? Where? Through what? In the sky. In the sky, in the church, and when we listen to our parents, when we listen to our teachers, when we listen to Abuna preaching, because Jesus is always, every way possible to talk to you. So just keep Keep your eyes and your ears open, and you will see Jesus talk. Like he talked to Mary, what? Wow, by angel sending an angel to Mary. He talked to Joseph by sending an angel to him. So when he wants to talk, he talks through any possible way. So when we pray, what? What's the time we can listen to Jesus? Is when we pray. Yes. Thank you. This is. What, what I want to do. Remember always, when we pray, we can listen to Jesus. Because He takes that time when we are like by ourselves. When we are like opening our heart to Him, our ears. So we need Jesus. Because so many people, you know what? I was like having confession somewhere, somewhere, someday. And a guy like 10 years old, he came to me and said, I feel lonely. He said, do you really feel lonely? Anyone of you feel lonely? Sometimes. Maybe sometimes. But look, if you have Jesus in your heart, you don't have to feel, you can't feel lonely. Because Jesus felt everything in our life. So you can, so I told to this guy, how come like you feel lonely? He said, maybe because I don't pray, maybe because so I told him, so you got to pray. You got to leave Jesus in your heart, and you will see, you will see that you, you are not lonely because Jesus is the best friend ever. He never leave anyone lonely. He is, he loves you more than you love yourself. You know that? Yeah. No, now you know it. Yes. yes. So Jesus, loves you more than you love yourself. Oh my goodness. How, how can you understand this reality? Jesus loves you more than you. You think you think that no one can love you more than yourself, right? No. <coughs> Jesus, right? Jesus loves you more than yourself. So thank you guys. And I want you to put Jesus always. Like Jesus is most important thing in my life, most important person, and he will fill my life with joy, with happiness, with every good thing. Okay, now. God never was born. Jesus as a man was.
Christ born, but God is, is everlasting, is, is, is eternal, okay? He, he has no birth because he is from, from eternal time to eternal, okay? So, yeah, we have no question now, we will continue with the Mass, and then because you have a busy program after. We will have Santa, you will have program in your classes and with your teachers. So let's go back to our class. Uh, then after question, if you have question after, come to me after the class.
with us. Pray for the memory of our fathers, patriarchs, bishops, deacons, the consecrated, and all deceased who have departed this world in true faith. For all our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, and all rulers. For the prophets, apostles, all martyrs, and confessors around the world. That God who has crowned them with the glory of the resurrection may grant them hope and life and inheritance in his kingdom of heaven, God of God. We give you glory, honor, gratitude, and prostration now and forever. For this country and its inhabitants, 
the city Saskatoon to those who dwell therein. Grant them your peace all things. O Christ, that peace for the heavenly and tranquility. O oh Lord, as we have received by the apostolic tradition from our fathers the example of your Son, that we are praising and rejoicing the celebration of this great holy life giving and divine mystery of passion, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. In silence and reverence, stand in the grave. May your Holy Spirit come, O Lord, and rest upon these offerings, bless and sanctify that it might become for us the pardon of death, the forgiveness of sins, the great hope of the resurrection from the dead, and new life in the kingdom of heaven with all who have pleased you. With praying lips and shining faces, we give you thanks and praise for your great and marvelous providence and unceasingly lift glory in your church redeemed by the precious blood of your Christ now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our God, your mercy draws us near to these glorious holy life giving and divine mysteries, though we are unworthy. With true faith in your name, we draw near to these holy mysteries. We break in your compassion the body of our Lord Jesus Christ and sign it with his precious blood in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. The precious blood is signed with the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The holy body is signed with the forgiving blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit forever. Stand always before you with 
with a pure heart and a real faith in the confidence you have granted us in your mercy. We call upon you together saying, Our Father,
and participate in these glorious mysteries and holy life given and divine mysteries. Let us all unanimously thank and glorify God who has given them. Let us pray, peace be with us. May Christ, our God, our King and Savior, who has made us worthy in His grace to receive this precious and sanctifying body and blood, strengthen us to complete His will through our thoughts, words, deeds, and actions. May the mysteries that we have received grant forgiveness of our sins, the great hope of resurrection from the dead, and new life in the kingdom of heaven with all who have pleased Him through His grace and mercy. Now, please be stand, stand for the final blessing. God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing through Jesus Christ our Lord, giving His us his body and blood as a pledge of eternal life. May he bless our community. Amen. Unite us. Amen. Sanctify our people Amen. who have come to be renewed by the power of this glorious holy life giving and divine mysteries. May you be pleased, sealed by the living sign of the cross, Lord the cross, and be Preserved from all hidden and visible harm, now and forever. So now we that we did for the mass, we finished the mass, and Sandra is coming to tell you what is the next and what is the uh, you the rest of the program till five o'clock. So so please be seated for now. I thank you so much. For you were paying attention to me all the time, for you have participated, for you were so smart and so calm. So thank you so much, and I want to tell you Merry Christmas. Okay? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way.